I mean, you know, when we talk about Indian problems, so from academy and student point of view, several times asked, uh, why are we not uh, innovating solutions for our own problems? And general perception or understanding among students is that we, as you said, we can just import the final technology and there is little trust in Indian innovation. Mm -hmm. So have we somewhere gone wrong in, our, in educating our students and uh, does innovation fall in the uh, you know, sphere of education and are we taking it seriously? Well, I mean, if you say that, um, let's take IITs themselves mm -hmm. um, because it's Indian Institute of Technology, it's supposed to do technology. But if you see the original mandate if I am right, is that uh, we should create engineers, so it was on teaching. And then somewhere I think in 80s and 90s, they start saying that no, you must also do cutting edge research and publish in international journals. So that happened. And, um, but I think most faculty and most scientists thought that their responsibility really ends with writing a good paper and at the most if they file a patent, it's a big thing done. They never thought that it's their realm of responsibility to take it forward into a product. So I don't want to really blame any of the previous generation. It's just that policy was in that, that way. You were meant to teach, so we taught. And then they said, you were, let's do some research. Okay, we did that. They started saying, let us engage with industry. So a lot of faculty now actually do industrial consultancy and industrial projects and so on, so which is not bad. And now only they're saying that, okay, why aren't you also, where is the research going? Why don't you make products and let it go into market? So now we are seeing the first wave of, of products and patents, uh, for product patents, and not just patents filed for filing on a resume, but also patents which have freedom to operate and which can be licensed to industry and so on. I think so it's happening. So give it another five years and I think it will happen. Uh, having said that, the, the overall perception of uh, a faculty creating products and creating businesses and um, even benef benefiting from that monetarily. The, I was telling you, the perception that professors should be poor uh, and businesses, people should be rich and then the, the twine shall not meet. Uh, that perception is just only giving away. But majority of faculty, if you ask, they will say, no, our job is to do pure science, um, finding new things, uh, discovering, not, not inventing new things. So that is now initially, that initial way of changing is happening and I think you will see many more that happening. I am not saying pure science is uh, not important, but everyone need not do that. 10%, 5% can at least start looking at how do we take the science, encapsulate into a product and take it to the market. Mm -hmm. And many of our students, uh, thanks to the initial way of uh, investments and funding and venture funding increasingly being available in all domains and apparently healthcare for example is supposed to be one of the hot areas of uh, investments as, at, the, as, at this point of time. So, and many students are now thinking that, okay, corporate life is there, job is there, but what is in it for me? So, they are, I think, maybe more mature than what we were. Mm -hmm. We are looking for job uh, security, but increasingly many students these days don't think twice about taking a break year. Come on, did we even, could we even afford to think about break year when we were doing uh, our uh, B.Tech and M.Tech and Ph.D. not so. So they are far more assured, this generation, far more, I think, adventurous. And I think, so I have a lot of hope on them. I think, but teachers have to be, I think, uh, <laughs> if, if I may take one more. Mm -hmm. I think the problem may be perhaps that we are coming in the way as teachers. So we have to, sometimes I, think, I say that maybe there are class A and class B and class C teachers. So, you know, Class A teachers are those who actually have done innovation themselves and they can literally lead their students into this game of innovation. Class B teachers is who appreciate the importance of that and those who will at least tell the student, okay, go ahead and do that and here is my contact and maybe I'll put some resources in your, in your way. And that's not bad. But I say at least if you can't be class A or class B, at least be class C, get out of the way. Let the student do it, don't discourage him. <laughs>